I found out a lot about myself, you know, laying in there in the hospital bed. I kept telling people that uh, I'm not a wheelchair kind of guy. You don't understand. I, I can't be in a wheelchair. It's not my style. Bob Nickel of Sharon, Massachusetts. On June 11th, 1991, his life changed dramatically. What happened was I was in an automobile accident uh, almost two years ago, and in the accident, um, I broke my back and severed my spinal cord, which uh, for the most part left me paralyzed from the waist down, and I'm now a full-time wheelchair user. Back in high school, Bob excelled in sports. In college, he worked out regularly and played racquetball to stay in shape. It's, it's tough to wake up one morning and find out that, uh, you know, you're not going to walk anymore. And, uh, you know, it was a tough blow, but I, I made an early decision that uh, I was going to do my best not to let this slow me down. And uh, after speaking with my therapist, we decided that the best thing to do would be to purchase a racing chair. And uh, that was how I met Bob Hall. Bob Hall is well known in the world of wheelchair sports. This is the man who got wheelchair marathoning started back in the early 70s. From when we first met, you know, he comes into my door saying he wants to become a racer, he wants to win a race like Boston Marathon. I go, uh-huh. And, uh, you know, something I, I've heard quite a bit. It's become a highly competitive sport with entrants from all over the world. And their equipment? Well, once again, Bob Hall. You see, not only is he the father of the marathon wheelchair division, He's also revolutionized the racing chair itself. His company is Hall's Wheels. The frame for this chair is made of steel. It's the kind of chair that Bob Nickel used in today's race. The problem with steel, though, is its weight, the fact that it bends and it rusts, too. They also have aluminum racing chairs. They're lighter, but they flex and don't last either. What's the answer? Titanium. Hall's Wheels and Merlin Metalworks, the people who make titanium bicycles, have teamed up to make titanium wheelchairs. A lot of this, you know, I'm getting strength through friends, from other people, from family, and from my community, so I don't feel as if I've done it alone. Two years ago, I thought my life was over. Here we are, in a brand new beginning, only, only place to go is up. And we reconnected with Bob Nickel, who still lives in the area and are happy to report he's doing well. Bob describes that 1993 Boston Marathon experience as life-changing for him and says he competed in three more after that. Wheelchair racing led him to a career in the medical supply business. He's now retired, has two grandchildren. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good evening. See you back here tomorrow.